Hey guys, it's Chris Bate with Cheat the Game coming back at you today. We're going to be taking a look again at Resident Evil 2. Have many, many people writing in asking about how to manipulate this timer up here for, to get an S plus ranking. Well, I'm going to show you how to find the timer, but first I want to come over here to Fearless Cheat Engine. And I want to give a huge shout out to Cilios and all the people that helped in regards to Resident Evil 2 Remake and finding all these awesome cheats they did an outstanding job and I want to give them the full credit uh, without their help I would not have found timer myself because it is an extremely hard value to find and uh, so I give these guys all the credit come over here to fearless I'll leave the link for you down there in the description and come download their cheat table uh, they keep up to date with all the patches and updates and everything like that and they got pretty much everything I mean just anything you can think of and all of this is in here where you don't have to find it yourself if you don't want to they've done all the hard work so come over here download it and come over here and leave a like uh, for these guys to show them you appreciate all their hard work okay but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get situated and I'll be right back with you and we'll find timer okay okay guys I brought the game up and I want to reiterate uh, the reason that it is hard to find it is that the internal uh, timer that's counting is constantly counting however it knows when it's paused it knows when to freeze this particular timer however what's really controlling it is continuing to count up so I'm not sure how the math, math is calculated with that um, and I, I did figure out that it wasn't based on this clock down here on your computer so um, it didn't manipulate the timer at all so it only goes into effect when you're actually in the game then it starts counting up see 821 and you know, just on up from there but while you're here it's frozen and that's probably a reason a lot of you are not finding it is because whatever the internal the internal just keeps counting up 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 it's going like by milliseconds or something and uh, it took me a long time to find it and uh, like I say I needed the help of Celios and them over at Fearless and I was finally able to find it so my hats off to them thank you for the help guys and uh, please go over there and grab their cheat table okay but we're gonna find it uh, I've already searched floats you know, with no results even though you can find it with either float or four byte you'll have easier results what's even worse is that when you cannot mash unchanged value, you know, to weed out even more, you're going to get just tons and tons and tons of results. I mean, I mean thousands. And it's so hard to check every single one of them because you're eventually going to crash your game. And it just it takes pain, painstakingly a long time uh, to find this particular value. So we're going to try to alleviate a lot of that since we cannot match decreased value or unchanged value. Uh, we got a hard search. So what I recommend doing is let's go ahead and attach Cheat Engine to the game. And I'd already crashed my game so many times trying to find this. It's pathetic. And I want to turn on some of my codes here so I can see the addresses. And that's the first thing that I do is I take a look at the addresses that are showing up and that's and my start and my stop is I want to put it in between there now you'll still get a lot of results I know two ways about it uh, you'll get tons and tons and tons of results but uh, it does weed them out a little better where if you just do all and keep it at its normal start and stop you're, you're just gonna get tens and tens of thousands and it just it really takes a long time and I still may crash my game a lot trying to find it so we're gonna go ahead and even in the pause the one we need to find is still counting up so we need to be careful okay so that's what we're gonna do is just come out here and we're just gonna hit increase value just over and over again and finding it like I did I know it is going a lot by milliseconds and it went on float and I need to start over I'm sorry I had it on float and I thought it was on poor bait my bad let's try that one more time we could have probably still found it on float but it'd be a, a weird value so better just to go to poor bait so now we're doing and all I'm doing is using my hotkey and we're just increasing value increasing value just weeding them down as much as we can
and I'm gonna tell you right now being this high uh, of a number not like nine minutes and 19 seconds it's gonna look oops, sorry it's gonna look like a float value similar to that but it's gonna constantly keep increasing so you see those that are now paused it's not paused so keep increasing and go to your pause screen and keep mashing increasing see the time keep mashing increasing this is where a lot of us including myself made my mistake I saw it was froze there and I know it didn't really start back counting until I went back into the game but yet what is actually controlling it is still counting up so how it's doing that I, I really don't know I hadn't really looked more into it I haven't really had time to sit with it looks like that's about as good as we're going to get so we need to be careful all right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for these float type values that are still counting the float type values look kind of like this and those are the ones I'm after I'm going to add that to these and you see how fast they're counting and we got to be careful and we still may crash our game and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on zero and hope for the best alright and if none of them change that's fine still counting up still counting up and we can get rid of those so uh, remove from selected addresses and those are the only ones I'm looking for so what I could do to narrow it down even more because I know it's going to be one of these and uh, maybe help us out a little bit to get rid of some obscure values that we don't want to change is uh, bigger than and just pop in one of these float values here and just replace them with zeros so we need one two three four five six seven eight nine zeros so bigger than so now we got 31 which is a lot better than what we just had then so we already got that address so stay away from the negatives right now just do your positives and we got to be very careful if we hit the wrong value we'll be starting all over again and just change it to zero go back to the game and take a look we're down to zero time so one of these is definitely it and I can tell you right now it's one of these top twos you see that so we need just now to figure out which one it actually is so now I'm going to manipulate it again by putting one of these values into it just to see what changes it and it's still at zero okay so it's probably that second one so let's do the same thing with that one and see what we get and it's still at zero so we need to increase it even more let's put it like at eight eight uh, zero zero I'm sorry that's too much we want to affect that time in some way form or fashion so we need to figure out which one it is and 853 so it's the top one that's how difficult it is to find but these little tips right here will help you find it easier so you can see how hard it is it see it's still just counting up but yet yeah, we're frozen so so obviously there's something going on with it within two different types of uh, two different types of values that's controlling the time but here we know we can set it to zero and it starts the timer over at zero so let's go ahead and find a place in memory now I don't know how having a zero time will affect the game getting an S plus rating I don't know if there's a watcher or like a compare or something that is watching for you know manipulation of time so that could be a case too I have not went through the entire game like this so uh, you're just gonna have to trial and error it yourself in that regard so I don't know but as you can see we can see what brings it up let's go to uh, different screens and what pops up when we go in and out of this screen when we go out of inventory screen so we see that these two are constantly being written and these are only being read when we 
go into that screen. So let's go back into the pause screen. All right. So we know right here is where it is actually writing. So that's where I want to go right quick. And you see it leads us to this location. So first off, we need to see if this is a shared opcode. So let's go ahead and stop this. And we see that it is not shared, so that's good. That is a good thing. And we can stop it. So, you know, right off the bat, I would recommend just uh, doing an injection copy. Just, and that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to put timer one. Let it find a unique array of bytes. Hope that it does. And it did. Very good. Now, you'll probably need to update AOBs as new patches come out. But now you kind of have a game plan on how to find this. And it's really, really hard. And uh, right off the bat, what I want to do is I'm just going to see what happens when I XOR RAX with itself. That puts a zero into RAX. Just to see if it manipulates it. Okay. And you see them go to zero, we are going back, and you're at zero time. So, but I don't know how to, that will affect the game at all. I don't know. Because I have not got past this point. I, I had time to sit down and actually play the game. So uh, use caution, okay? Use caution. I believe on their, uh, on their cheat table, they're doing it with a time that it doesn't go past. It doesn't go past a certain amount of time where you can get the S plus rank. So that makes me think there may be a watcher in there that's watching it. So you're just going to have to trial and error if you want to do this on your own. But I recommend just going to get their cheat table. Okay. Because they worked hard on it. My hat's off to them. Great job, fellas. And uh, just go from there. All right. So, but basically we don't really want to do that right now right now we just wanted to find the address every time we come back to it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a label and i'm just going to name it something i'm just going to call it time you can call it whatever you want to register it as a symbol because this is going to hold the base address for our timer we're going to call it time all righty and then unregister it that looks good and then down here just put time now we want to do it as a, a DQ not a D word because it is a 64-bit game just in case we get uh, an address that happens to be longer than four bytes ah crap I accidentally hit insert all right let's go ahead and what we're going to do is move into our symbol now our symbol is going to be stored at an address in allocated memory that that symbol name will be assigned its own address and what we're telling it here is we want the base address of our timer which is rcx plus 18 we want the base address moved in as our value at that address at that time address okay i know it's a little confusing but that's what uh, injection copies are this name has been assigned an address and it's that address we want to store the base address so it's it's like a pointer like a multi-level pointer and then we want that uh, over here we want this address to point to 18 to give us our address and that's what we're going to do manually so let's go ahead and mash ok oh yeah we can mash ok I'm sorry I already saved it good so here's our script Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and name it Timer Lookup. Alrighty. Leave it on 4 byte and we're just going to put Timer Address. And remember our symbol name that's been assigned an address. And remember it's all set. It points to 18. And that is as you see our timer address it found it and I don't know exactly what number it hits to start making that count up again so you know I really don't know how that's working so let's just tack another zero on the end of it and see what happens four minutes there we go so you see that you know 
how it's manipulating time, but you see it's still counting up. And that's why a lot of you are missing it and not able to find it. Now, it's possible maybe to be able to find the display and backtrace it to a source or maybe even manipulate that timer directly. I haven't found it, but like I say, I haven't really sat with it that long. And uh, like I say, I was unable to find anything that manipulated that time but this address. And I got the help of Celios and them over at Fearless to help me with that as well. So I cannot take credit for this at all, okay? And I will not. Uh, those guys deserve the credit because they put in the hard work. All right. So that gets you basically where you need to be. And I, I tell you the truth, I'm just going to have to leave it there uh, for you. And, uh, and you're just going to have to go in the game and play around with it. I, I don't know. What I recommend is make sure you have several saves, especially when you're getting near the end of the game or wherever it gives you that S-plus rank. Save a couple of games, okay? And then have one save game where you can just go and screw around, manipulate the time, and see what it does. If you finish with this certain amount of time, if you finish with zero, what does it do? And then judge from there for your main game. Okay, so make sure you have several save files that you can play around with and screw up if you need to. And that's just the nature of game hacking. Thank you guys so much for coming out uh, and supporting Cheat the Game. I really appreciate all of you coming out and watching these videos, placing a like on it. You don't know how much this helps us out. I really do thank you. I want to thank my partners. These guys donate every month to keep Cheat the Game running. We all owe them a debt of gratitude. Without these guys, Cheat the Game would no longer exist. That's just pure and simple. But uh, I really appreciate all the support I've been giving. Come out and join us. Uh, they get perks every month. Uh, it only costs a dollar a month. Uh, I give you free games. I give you free lessons. Things that the normal people cannot uh, get their hands on. And I'm more than happy to extend that to you. It's only a dollar a month. And uh, you get more than your values worth. So please come on over and, uh, and join us over our Discord channel. Also our Facebook channel. We do have guidelines on our Facebook channel. It's a little harder to get into because to keep out spammers. But uh, we would love to have you. Uh, we are trying to get our website going up again, and uh, hopefully we can get that in full swing again very soon. Also, on the next uh, lesson, I'm going to be doing D and Spy and Cheat Engine again, and we're going to be looking at that new early release, which I, I absolutely love this game. It's called Pray, uh, Pray of the Gods or Prayer to the Gods, and uh, it's basically... Uh, a clone of Shadow of the Colossus, which is one of my all-time favorite games. But we're going to get into that game, and we're just going to hack it, everything we can find in it. And I found a lot of goodies with DN Spy, and I'm going to show you how you can use finding instances with DN Spy uh, to find just all kind of really great stuff. So that's going to come up in the next lesson. So stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Please place a like on it. Hit that little bell, and you'll know exactly when I come out with a new video and i got more great content coming very shortly all right well i'm out of here guys you all take care keep on hacking most importantly please enjoy yourself that's really what it's all about you cheat the game fellas because believe me it doesn't mind cheating you you all take care now.